Well, Akansha, Akansha is here with me in the studio. Akansha, quite a significant development there. Last year, it was uh, Vombie who was released uh, from North Korea. And this time, another three US citizens are uh, being freed by North Korea. Absolutely. This is a sign of improving relations between two long-time adversaries, the United States and North Korea. And also, of course, an indication of uh, an upcoming summit as Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, of United States already pointed out uh, that during his meet with Kim Jong-un in North Korea, a time and date have been decided of a possible unprecedented summit between the United States and North Korea. And Mike Pompeo also went on to mention that a date and time will soon be announced by President Trump. So, and, and now that uh, Jessica, the that North Korea has released these three detainees, these three American detainees, it certainly is a very positive indication of improving relations between North Korea and United States. Well, in fact, their release fulfills a long-standing objective here for Washington and it represents a gesture of good faith by North Korea. We've seen the bitter fights uh, emerge between the two nations for the past uh, you know, few, uh, few months. But this seems to be a settlement on the table. And there you go, live visuals coming in there. At the joint base in uh, Andrews, Maryland. The three uh, U.S. citizens. The three U.S. citizens, the, de the ones who were detained in North Korea, can be seen. And they are inside entering the van, accompanied by Mike Pompeo, the U.S. Secretary of State. And as we all know, Trump has already arrived at the Andrews base outside Washington to welcome the three freed U.S. citizens in the middle of the night ceremony. The arrival, marking the arrival of the three American detainees in North Korea. And this is certainly a goodwill gesture on the part of North Korea and a clear indication of improving relations between the United States and North Korea. And as we all know, that U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was in North Korea for a meeting, which was a 90-minute long meeting with Kim Jong-un. And going by reports in United States and North Korea, it has been... Okay, these are live visuals that you can see of the detainees being carried in the van. It's a goodwill gesture before the Trump and Kim meet. These are live visuals coming in from the joint base in Andrews, Maryland, outside Washington. As we all know, Vice President Mike Pence and President Donald Trump have arrived at the joint base Andrews to receive and welcome the three freed U.S. citizens who've just arrived along with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who's returning from North Korea. And these are the details of the prisoners. Kim Hock Song was held on suspicion of hostile acts in May 2017. He had previously described himself as a Christian missionary who intended to start an experiment or farm at the Pyongyang University of Science and Technology. Tony Kim, also known as Kim Song Dok, also worked at PUST. He was detained in April 2017 on espionage charges. According to South Korean media, he had been involved in humanitarian work in the North. Kim Dong Chul, a pastor in his early 60s, was detained in 2015 on spying charges and was then sentenced to 10 years hard labor. These are the details we have just brought to you of the three American detainees who've been released from North Korea as a goodwill gesture by North Korea. And they have been accompanied by your Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who has just returned to join base Andrews outside Washington and is being received by U.S. Vice President Mike Pence 
at US President Donald Trump. And this is clearly an indication of improving relations between North Korea and the United States. It was during this, this has been a second meeting between US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and North Korean President Kim Jong-un. And as we all know that a date and time of the summit has been decided during this meeting. And according to US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, the finalized date and location of the summit will soon be announced by President Donald Trump. And these are live visuals coming in, as we can see. The media has also arrived at the Andrews base outside Washington, where U.S. President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence have arrived to welcome the three detainees who've just returned from North Korea. It is a goodwill gesture before the Trump-Kim meet. Let's share details of the prisoners who've been brought back. Kim Hock Song was held on suspicion of hostile acts in May 2017. He had previously described himself as a Christian missionary who had extend, intended to start an experimental farm at Pyongyang University of Science and Technology or the PUST. Tony Kim. And Tony Kim, also known as Kim Sangduk, also worked at PUST. He was detained in April 2017 on espionage charges. According to South Korean media, he had been involved in humanitarian work in North Kim Dong Chul. A pastor in his early 60s was detained in 2015 on spying charges and was then sentenced to 10 years of hard labor. And some 120,000 people are believed to be imprisoned in North Korea without due process, according to the Committee for Human Rights in North Korea or the HRNK. People can be jailed by the regime for almost anything, activists say, with crimes ranging from watching a South Korean DVD to trying to defect from the country. Political prisoners are often sent to separate prisons, usually brutal labor camps, which involve difficult physical work such as mining and logging. These are live visuals being streamed from Joint Base Andrews outside Washington where you can see the van carrying detainees, the three detainees who've just been released from North Korea and are being accompanied by US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who was in North Korea for a second meeting with Kim Jong-un to decide a date and time for the summit between US President Donald Trump and Secretary of State and Kim Jong-un. And let's replay those visuals of the moment when Donald Trump arrived, accompanied by his wife, Melania. You can see these are visuals of the U.S. president arriving at the Andrews base outside Washington, accompanied by his wife, Melania Trump. As we all know, the U.S. president is here to welcome the three detainees who have been released by North Korea. This is during a middle-of-the-night arrival ceremony. It was just a day ago that Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had left Washington to meet Kim Jong-un in North Korea. These are visuals which just arrived a few minutes ago of US President Donald Trump. And shortly and prior to Donald Trump, we saw the arrival of US Vice President Mike Pence. is indeed a pivotal moment between in terms of relations between the United States and North Korea. 
It also marks the beginning of a fresh relationship, a new chapter for North Korea and the United States as they prepare for an unprecedented summit between President Donald Trump of the United States and Kim Jong-un of North Korea. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had been in North Korea to finalize details of a summit planned between Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Trump's announcement was made during the same meeting which was kicked off by him to announce the U.S. exit from the Iran nuclear deal. It was the same very day that he announced Mike Pompeo's visit to North Korea to decide a date and time for the summit that is expected to take place in late May or June, early June this year. North Korean media has mentioned the Pompeo and Kim Jong meeting as a successful endeavor, the first between US and North Korean leaders would be the summit for which a date and venue is being decided or has already been decided during the meeting of the US Secretary of State and North Korean President Kim Jong-un. It was just some time back that Donald Trump, U.S. President, had taken to Twitter to announce the arrival of Mike Pompeo. I quote his tweet, I am pleased to inform you that Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is in the air and on his way back from North Korea with three wonderful gentlemen that everyone is looking so forward to meeting. They seem to be in good health. Also, good meeting with Kim Jong-un. Date and place set. So clearly, Donald Trump's tweet has established a fact that a date and place for the North Korea US summit has been decided and the announcement should be expected to take place anytime soon in the next few days.